Hello Virgo, welcome to your general energy reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind guys that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And yes, this is a meeting that is dated for April of 2022, but really this is just whatever messages Spirit has for you to for this monthly check-in, right? Um, this doesn't absolutely have to be restricted to the month of April. I just want you guys to keep that in mind. So we are going to jump right into this, Virgo. We're going to start with the Animal Spirit deck, and then we're going to dive into your uh, freestyle spread using the Golden Arch Nouveau Tarot. Um, and <laughs> there's some work going on above me, so don't worry about that. You might hear a little bit of stuff, but hopefully it's not too distracting. Yeah? All right, Virgo, let's get into this and see what message of spirit has for you this month. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the guidance, the energies, the understandings, and the messages that you have for Virgo to help them on their spiritual journey and just their day-to-day -day lives for all Virgos for the month of April of 2022. Excellent, Virgo. Let's get into this. We're going to start with the Animal Spirit deck. I'm going to give this five shuffles, and we're going to see what messages we have for you at this time. So, okay, one. First off, Virgo, I'm seeing purple for you. And with that, I hear you're accessing higher wisdom. Okay, that's fine. This is two. Um... But actually, now I'm seeing blue, so it kind of feels like this is three. What I'm hearing is that you're, uh, maybe you've been learning a lot. You've been accessing this wisdom for a while because now you're ready to communicate about it, or at least you are communicating about it. This is three, uh, four, excuse me. Okay. And this is five. What I just heard, Virgo, is that um, Virgo was, has been learning a lot and um, is ready to start sharing this wisdom or at least communicating about what it is they've learned. Okay. All right. Let's see what cards. What, what have we got for you from the, spe the animal spirit deck here? Yeah. Look at this, Virgo. And the card that has come out for you here is Cobra. Okay. And Cobra does represent a spiritual awakening, spiritual awareness. Um, you could have been gone, going through uh, a Kundalini experience. Kundalini rising. This is great. Underneath the deck, overall energy is lizard. So I'm going to take that too. Okay. Lizard represents transformation, regeneration, regrowth, rebirth. So you've been going through a hell of a transformation, Virgo. All right. Um, and it's just, and really the main message here for you is that you are ready to start sharing this wisdom. You've gone through a massive transformation. People may be looking at you very differently, but also very sincerely. It's almost as if for some of you, people are starting to see you now for the first time. Um, even though they may, even though they may know you, they may be people that you're familiar with. They may be people that you're surrounded by a lot or all the time. This transformative process has helped people to see you now I see you for who you truly are at this point now granted who you truly are may have changed right because you've gone through a transformation anyway but there is there is there is a level of people seeing you now in ways that they have never expected or never uh, what i just heard is in ways that they never thought that they would this transformative process has been pretty extreme for you virgo and that's uh, that's telling, I want to say, but it's also a really good thing. I mean, it also may have been very, very painful, very traumatic, or at least you were in a very traumatized state as you're emerging from this. You've gone through a serious transformation, Virgo, and that's working out for you for the better. And for some of you, it may not necessarily seem that way right now um, because this is really new for you. Okay, this is a new phase for you. This is a new opportunity for you. This is a new 
uh, phase in your life. But ultimately, this is really going to bring, bring some really wonderful, really wonderful blessings to you. And that's because of the change in your alignment. Not only have you you've gone through this transformation, but your alignment to your life, to the universe, I really also kind of feel like the way that you see the world around you, the way that you associate with, the way that you approach life around you has changed drastically. And that's one of the ways, or that's one of the reasons why um, there are a lot of blessings that are going to come towards you because of this change, all right? Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get into your tarot spread here. Five shuffles. One. This is two. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What messages do we have for Virgo at this time, please, Spirit? This is three. Four. And this is five. All right, Virgo. I'm going to move these over. I mean, for some of you, I'm hearing that this transformative process has been severe. Okay, so you're really emerging out of this as a drastically different or new person. All right, cut the deck here. All right. Overall energy for you, Virgo, we do are, or we do, we are starting you off with the Seven of Pentacles. What I'm hearing with this, Virgo, is that the wisdom that you have gained over this process at this point is very, very clear for you, okay? Or at least the understandings that you've come to, the past that you've been through, what it is you've experienced is very, very clear to you at this time or at this point, okay? Yeah, see, <laughs> underneath that, underneath the Seven of Pentacles is judgment. Underneath judgment, we do have the Nine of Cups. And then underneath the Nine of Cups is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant here feels like you are, you. I, I, when I look at the Hierophant here, I just get an element of an energy of you have graduated, you've learned a hell of a lot, um, you are being ushered into the next phase of your life, you're being ushered into a higher realm or a higher reality of life. I just, I, I mean, I, I look at the Hierophant um, Virgo and I feel immediately I feel like you've graduated, you've graduated or you're graduating. I feel like the Hierophant energy is a, a representation of some sort of ordainment. Whether you, I don't know, maybe you went through a, uh, like you got some sort of religious uh, accreditation or something like that. You've been ordained somehow physically or uh, um, in, in waking life or just spiritually. Okay, and that is all corroborated here with uh, judgment and the nine of cups. It's like you're being ushered into the next phase. A judgment call has been is be, has been made or is being made in in life, and you're settling into a greater sense of happiness, wish fulfillment, and contentment. But this is like everyday mundane contentment. Nine of cups. It's not just like it's not like this big crazy fantasy. It's just like you're. This is weird to say, Virgo, but it's almost as if you're allowed, <laughs> I, I, I know, right, allowed, but like you're allowed, or maybe it's that you're allowing yourself to settle into some sort of comfort level, um, or it's just that you've gone through, you've overcome a lot, and now you're ready to settle down or settle into a sense of contentment and happiness because the trials and the tribulations that you've gone through ha are settled, and you passed, in some cases, you pass with fly flying colors, and that's beautiful. Okay. This is excellent for you, Virgo. I love this. So let's get into the rest of this here. First half, second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at uh, the energies from the past leading up to the current moment. Second half is going to look at the current moment leading off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading. The world. Look at that. Okay, the judgment call has been made, judgment, and you passed, you passed with flying colors. So here we go, there's the completion. There is the moment that you are crossing from one phase of your life into the next. That is really quite 
Beautiful, Virgo. Congratulations. The world is coupled with the Five of Cups. Yes, you've overcome a great amount of sorrow. There was probably, there was a time period for you, Virgo, a long extended time period where you were just dealing with grief. You were dealing with loss. You were dealing with strife. But you... You've seemed to, what I heard is, I just heard you have seemed to make a real a, a miraculous transformation in your life. But what, I, but what really helped you make this transformation, Virgo, is not just the fact that you got over whatever was hurting you or bothering you or whatever it was that you were grieving or the loss that you were experiencing. You actually learned a great deal from it, which not only allowed you to overcome it, but it also allowed you to transition and move out of that phase, move out of that energetic phase or energetic awareness in your life and to move into something much greater, much more stable and much more fulfilling, I'm hearing. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You have the two of pentacles. Okay, so there was, a, there was a lot, there was a juggling process. There was a period in the past leading up to where you are now in which you really had to, you had to let go of a lot of things. Um, and what I'm getting with this two of pentacles is that you had to cut your losses or weigh out the options. You really had to sit down and say to yourself, what is really most important here? What am I holding on to? What, am, what do I need to let go of? Why am I juggling this? That was a real, that was a, that really feels like Virgo. That was a serious, I want to call it a come to Jesus moment. I don't know if that would resonate with you guys. That's the first phrase that's coming out or coming to mind, but um, it was a very sincere moment. It was a real, it, you had to get very real with yourself in terms of whatever it is that you were holding on to, that you were juggling, that you, juggling needlessly. And it might have been some things that really hurt you and really caused a lot, great deal of sorrow, but for some reason you just didn't want to let go of it until you realize that it really wasn't fruitful any longer. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. Well, yes, I mean, that I'm a little surprised just because it's the two to the three, but that's excellent. But that actually does really confirm what I was just saying. You were in the process of building yourself back or building yourself better. And in order to do that, you had to release some things that you were juggling that were needlessly holding you down, holding you back, causing you a great deal of pain. There may have been a great level or a, a strong level of resentment that you had to let go of because you were holding on to certain situations from the past that were keeping you from moving forward. But whatever it was that you were juggling that you had to weigh your options for, it was all in service of this greater sense of self-awareness and self-mastery. It was all so that you could build a better you. And you took that challenge on fully. And you're receiving the rewards for it. Beautiful. And the, and, and, and the, the strongest thing I'm getting for you, not necessarily that you're really receiving something tangibly or anything like that. The, the strongest reward that you're receiving here, Virgo, is leaving that energetic, that sorrowful energetic state into a greater state of happiness and greater awareness, higher awareness, spiritual evolution, spiritual development. Beautiful. Your challenge, Virgo, in the past leading up to the current energies, the lovers. Uh, you had to make a, uh, ooh, you had to make a decision, honey. For some of you, this might have been, uh, okay, specifically I am getting a, a twin flame energy. So for those of you that resonate with the twin flame journey, and I haven't done a reading. Twin flame energies really haven't popped up for a long time for me. I don't really do twin flame readings anymore. But that's kind of what I'm getting with the lovers, at least for some of you, okay? Some of you were actively dealing with a twin flame energy in which you had to choose what was best for you. Either you were going to hold on to this situation and allow it to keep filling you with sorrow, grief, fear, or you were going to choose something better. You were going to choose to close out that cycle in order for you to move on, in order for yourself to move on. Wow. I mean, that's the strongest and most specific thing that I'm getting here. But for others of you, it, it, it doesn't have to be the twin flame situation. But you did have to make a very solid decision about what was best for you. Some of you are very service oriented. Okay. 
whether this resonates for you as a twin flame journey or not. Some of you were, are very, very service oriented and you had to make a choice as to whether or not you were going to facil continue to facilitate certain things for other people that were leaving you at a detriment to, of some sort or you were going to choose yourself. And obviously, I mean, if you're going through this transformation, I believe you've chosen yourself in some greater, ex to some greater extent. The lovers is coupled with, there you go, the ten of wands. Regardless how the, how, to how this, um, regardless as to how this resonates for you, for all of you on a specific level, ultimately you were carrying burdens that of strife. You were carrying burdens that were completely holding you down, bogging you down, keeping you from making any real progress. Your challenge was to choose whether or not you were going to continue to carry these burdens, in some cases on behalf of other people, or if you were going to completely let it go and leave it behind. And that was a pretty intense choice. It was an intense struggle. It was not an easy choice for many of you to make. And congratulations in doing so. And leaving that past experience, the past circumstances, whatnot, whatever, behind. Beautiful. Closing message or potential outcome for, for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading here. There's the Nine of Wands. Emerging as the wounded warrior um, or seeing yourselves as the moon, wounded warrior. But, but the Nine of Wands here represents the moment where you said to yourself, enough is enough. I'm tired of crying over this. I'm tired of struggling, str struggling to handle this. I'm tired of struggling with holding on to all of this. I'm tired of being uh, stressed out. I'm tired of looking over my shoulder. I want to be free of this. I want to be clear. I want to be happy. That is the decision that you made. Nine of Wands is coupled with, bam, the King of Swords right there objective objective thinking and that objective thinking led you to a moment where you said enough is enough i'm cutting this out i don't have to carry this burden any longer i don't have to be a part of this relationship a part of this situation a part of this circumstance any longer and and and, and that actually Virgo, that feels like that was the moment, that was like a big epiphany moment. That was the moment that changed everything for you. It was the moment that you remembered you have the right to free will. And it's not even like Virgo, you know, you're remembering your right to free will and it's like, well, yeah, you have free will, but if you choose to go in a different direction, you're gonna get all kinds of punishment and all that kind of shit. No, it's not even like that. It says that, that your right to free will says, I can either hold on to this and keep struggling with it, or I can completely let it go and move off onto a new adventure. That is a powerful, powerful place to be, Virgo. Beautiful. And it seems at this point, it's leading you to greater happiness. Uh, beautiful, Virgo. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. The second half is going to look at the current energies moving off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You have the nine of swords. Okay. Fearing the worst. Uh, nightmares, sleepless nights. Is this really you, though? Is this your energy? I don't believe it is. I really kind of feel like this is the energies of other people who are recognizing or realizing that you are releasing yourself from them and they can no longer manipulate you. They can no longer sap your energy. They no longer have control over you. I really feel like this is resonating on a very, on a strong twin flame level, but those of you that have been struggling with the twin flame journey, but have also been under the grips of some sort of narcissism, the Nine of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Wands. That Nine of Swords energy is other person or other people. The other people around you that are recognizing, realizing, experiencing that moment that you decide to move in a different direction. Ace of Wands. Now, for some of you, that Nine of Swords could be the fear that you are experiencing. Uh, um, in fearing uh, uh, in terms of what could go wrong, I do feel like some of you actually feel like you're afraid someone might sabotage you. I mean, they can try, Virgo, but ultimately any sort of uh, uh, anything that you experience in your journey moving forward really only helps to serve you 
at your higher purpose serve you to learn the lessons that you need to need to learn depending on how you look at it okay you don't have to fear what's ahead of you, uh, but many of you don't. For the most part, I really feel like these are the energies of people around you that are recognizing you're moving in a different direction. You're no longer compatible with them. You're no longer able to be manipulated by them. They can no longer get what it is they used to get from you, which was a really negative thing. They were getting it. They were receiving it in a negative way. And now it's kind of like, oh shit, what do I do? I don't know. You're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading here, you have the Page of Swords. Again, more people watching you, seeing what it is that you, you're doing, seeing how it is they can control you, manipulate you, trying to figure out what it is that you're doing, trying to figure out what, whatever direction it is that you're going in so maybe they can try to intercept you. But it is not going to work, Virgo. It's not. You've reached a higher level of spiritual awareness, which also means you've, high, you've reached a higher level of spiritual protection. You are stronger spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally than you ever were before. So they're really going to have to step their game up. But stepping their game up means that they're going to have to get on your level in order to be able to affect you at all. The Page of Swords is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. Yes. Now, for some of you, this actually feels like there are people watching you trying to get on your level. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. You can let them watch all they want. But a lot of you have individuals, certain narcissistic individuals around you that are seeing you step up into this new phase and they're actively trying to decide how they can tear you down, trying to figure out how they can tear you down. So I would be very careful about people that were once your enemies looking at you in a different way, trying to get to know you, trying to be your friend, trying to, 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 to cuddle up to you or get close to you and be like, Hey, what you got there, blah, blah, blah. Let's be friends now. I mean, like, I don't know. I'm not trying to make anybody suspicious, but I would just be, I would just be very cautious. Because I do feel like there are a good amount of people around you that have some ulterior motives. Okay? Just saying. Your challenge, Virgo, in the second half of your reading is the queen of pentacles. Holding your sense of self-worth. This might be challenging for some of you because you are really giving and you really want to help. I really don't feel like this is much of a challenge for you, though, Virgo, because this is where you are currently. So maybe the challenge here is to maintain that and maintain that integrity. Because I do feel like you're embodying the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. You're very, you're very compassionate. You're very loyal. You're very committed. You're very abundant. And you're very much willing to be there for others. But you have got to maintain these boundaries. You can't really give. You can't slip back into your old ways of giving. Because the Queen of Pentacles is, very, is a very giving, very loving, caring, nurturing, and helpful and supportive individual or energy. But she is not willing to give to anything that does not give back. She is not willing to share her table or her abundance with anyone that is not bringing something to the table themselves. And this, and whatever they're bringing to the table, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, extravagant. It doesn't, doesn't mean that they necessarily have to match the fruitfulness or the abundance that she has, but they at least need to provide something. There has to be a level of reciprocity when inter interacting with the Queen of Pentacles. And so the challenge for you here, Virgo, is to maintain that boundary. Okay, so for many of you, this is a new state of self-respect um, and self-awareness that you're coming to, that you're having to really, that you're being challenged in terms of maintaining. Okay, that's not that bad, to be honest. The Queen of Pentacles is coupled with... The, the, shit, yo. The Six of Pentacles. That's exactly what we were talking about. The Six of Pentacles is that physical, is that representation of reciprocity. There's a song that's coming to mind. Um, is his name, J is it by Jason Mraz? If you want to be with me, you got you have to follow through. I mean, that, that, that f flows on a romantic level, but it also flows on an interpersonal uh, a platonic level. 
So they, oh, oh, there are some friendships, social associations, interpersonal relationships that are going to need to either ch change, be reworked, readjusted, and or end all together because of this. That's a challenge, okay? Especially if these are people that you know, people that you've been connected to for a while, people that you've been friends with for a while, people that you've been associated for a while with for a while, people that you've been working with for a while. I mean, this, reshaping that, yeah, that's going to be a challenge. Of course, new, new relationships that come in will be easier to set the boundaries for, but if you're, if you're setting new boundaries for old associations, that is going to be a challenge. Yes, I understand that. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading. The Eight of Pentacles. So you've gone through this change in spiritual awareness. Okay, we started you off with the seven of pentacles, which is an energy of you gaining a deep understanding of what it is you've been through in the past. And your deep understanding of what it is that you've been through in the past is allowing you to graduate. Judgment to the nine of cups is allowing you to graduate, to elevate to a brand new level of contentment. And so now your closing message, potential outcome in the second half of your reading, which talks about the energies of the current situation moving off into the future, you are going to be able to build something new, bigger and better for yourself because of the, because of the understanding that you've come to and the spiritual awareness you've come through too. Wow. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with boop, the Emperor. Building the foundation, moving forward in a much better way, being the executive, the CEO of your life, having a direction in mind and sticking with it. Having a process in mind and sticking with it. Okay? Some of you may look at you in this new energy and think you're a miser, think you're a hard ass, think you're a bitch, whatnot, whatever. Don't fucking listen to them. Because you know exactly what it is that you're doing here and why you're doing it. And you don't need to explain yourself to anybody. Okay? Masterful. Extreme. Like, I, Virgo, congratulations. This is excellent for you. I'm going to close out your reading now. And we're going to get your closing oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? All right, Virgo. I'm going to give this five shuffles. Here we go. One. This is two. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. This is three. Four. And five. All right, Virgo. Closing message for you. It is right there. Card number 11. Hell yeah. Archangel Gabriel and Turquoise. Safe to be seen. We bring you the gift of safety in being seen. Over lifetimes, you have loved the earth returning again and again to serve humanity, liberate the human soul from fear, and spread a message of love. You have spoken truths, shared messages, and inspired many. Yet in your visibility, sometimes you have felt misunderstood and vulnerable. You have been admired and loved, but at times also feared and attacked for the empowering message you brought to the world. In you, there is a memory of this, and although you wish to share your light with the world again, there are times when the thought of being seen doesn't feel safe. We are here to let you know that you are protected in divine grace. It is safe to open up to your inner knowledge and to share your message with the world. The light in you is stronger than fear. It is time to shine fearless and bright. 
Excellent, Virgo. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information, including a list of the readings that I offer and my email address can be found in the description box below. Go ahead and shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than excited, more than happy to get you all hooked up. I highly encourage you guys to check us out over on Patreon for extra monthly content with me, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes? Excellent. Bye.